Hey everybody, Ben, Polypedalist, back again with part two of the Humming Guru initial impressions. Tonight I've got uh, three records I played, and I'm going to give you guys the before and after on these records. I am not really going to say anything about them opinion-wise from my side of this. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of lay out how I did the recordings, give you the before and the afters, and I'm going to say thank you, good night at that point, and let you all judge for yourself how the Humming Guru did. Okay, so how I did this test. I picked three, kind of at random. What I did was I did older records. I might do another video with newer records, but this is just focusing on those older vintage legacy records. Um, these are records that I know fairly well, that I play fairly often, that have been brush cleaned by, my, by me plenty of times. Um, this time what I did was I played the record one time, I recorded it with uh, just a simple dry brush clean, light dust, maybe one rotation around at most, very minor. Played the first lead in groove in the first track for a little bit and that was it. And then I played it a second time with the, uh, after a humming guru clean on a full five minute auto, five minute clean, five minute dry back on the player. I did clean the needle between every play. And just in case anybody cares, it is a basically a, a Sure M95 um, with a line contact stylus playing on it. So, okay, so just so what the records I chose, um, the first one we're gonna hear tonight is uh, the opening track off of Alan Parsons' project, iRobot. This is the um, mobile fidelity version. This is the original mobile fidelity version, the, I don't know, 1982, 84 or something, like that. the Japanese press one, um, you know, great album, but you know, again, I, I figured that one had good mastering. And again, I know it's an, it's not perfect, you know, so I thought it'd be a good candidate. Um, next one I did, um, that we're gonna listen to is um, some classical. Uh, you, people always say, you know, you know, classical is only enjoyable if the record is clean and, um, you know, plays through without any, any faults and all that kind of stuff. Uh, truth be told, I don't really listen to classical. Obviously, I have some classical. I've had this forever. Um, so, not my typical genre. But again, so I played some classical. Deutsche Grammophone. Again, I figured the mastering is supposed to be pretty good. So, at least that would rule out any mastering issues. Okay, so I played this. Gustav Mahler. I uh, something like that. Symphony number four. And then last, but not least, certainly not least. Um, it, I would be remiss for making video after video after video if I didn't get to bring in you know, my favorite, Hawkwind. So I did a Hawkwind record, um, Hall of the Mountain Grill. On this one, I did side two, um, track one, because it starts in a little quieter than the first track. So again, so here we go. We're gonna have, we're gonna start off, we're gonna have Alan Parsons Project, iRobot. We're gonna go into Symphony number four, and we're gonna finish out with Hawkwind, Hall of the Mountain Grill. Cleaned with the Humming Guru. See what we think.
got to listen to the opening track, Alan Parsons Project, I Robot, the beginning of Gustav Mahler, Symphony Number no. 4, and uh, the greatest band on earth, Hawkwind, Hall of the Mind Grill, side one, side, side two, track one, and there we go. So, y'all drop a comment down below, tell me what did you think? Did the Humming Guru work or did it not work? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody, and happy days.